Throughout your working years, you've been promoted, you've received yearly raises, you continue to earn more each year. So is it possible for us to retire and still get wealthier? Well, back with us today are Gary Matson and Taylor Stewart. The duo are part of the team with Matson Financial, a full-service financial and retirement firm in the Grand Rapids area. They are also popular radio show hosts. Okay, fact or fiction. This is something that uh, folks, I bet, <laughs> debate a little bit or think couldn't be possible. Is it possible to retire and then actually get wealthier in your retirement? That's a fact. We see it happen all the time. Yeah, big fact. We see it happen all the time. You know, uh, when we're running our income plans and stuff for our clients later on down the road, they're like, man, this is great. We've had all of the retirement income that we want, and we're still able to pass on those things to our, our children and grandchildren that we want while maintaining the lifestyle that we've had and, and w continue to have, you know, the vacations and all that fun stuff. Um, but it really comes down to proper planning. We've got to make sure that we're maximizing Social Security, pensions if you have them, um, and then, of course, tax is a, is a big one and it's only going to become increasingly more important as the tax uh, current tax structure sunsets in 2025 we'll see what the election has in, in store too so there's a lot of plans that go into that we just have to make sure we're doing it properly yeah it seems a bit hard to believe i'm sure for people that you stop getting that paycheck in retirement but you would continue to get wealthier yeah, it's really about, like Taylor said, being diversified in the numbers. Yeah. Um, we set it up so that clients can have the income flow steady without market declines against that income bucket. And then that allows us to properly position the other assets, what we call your lifestyle assets, so they can grow. And as they grow, they're going to pull off whatever they need for income. But don't forget, down the road, we're going to have inflation and other things that may come up. Like we call it the three stages of retirement. Go, go, slow, go, and no, go. Mm -hmm. Last one being wealth care. My mom being 96, as she says, and a half years old. <laughs> and she really wants those dollars to be there for her so she can have people come into the home, help take care of them, the home, and those type of things. So once again, you're going to need more money down the road. So that portfolio's got to grow. Right. And we see people, um, it can be risky to market and people can lose money. And so what do we do to minimize our risk as we approach retirement? So overall, you need to, to take a look at your plan and your investments and adjust to, uh, you know, different asset classes, different types of investments that are appropriate for, number one, your comfort level, but most importantly, uh, the success of your plan. So we want to take a look at uh, your income sources and make sure that we have a pretty solid uh, line of sight on your critical income need so that we don't see the market fluctuation affecting your income that you're taking home. And then like Gary had or had talked about, maintain those lifestyles by investing those dollars separately. Right. And understand that, as Taylor said, there's different asset classes out there or diversification of assets, but there's also different investment strategies. Yeah. So if you're going to one firm and they've got one strategy, that's what you're going to get. And unfortunately, it's one, more than one strategy works. If it was just buy and hold as such a strategy is, if that was what's working, then everybody would do it. Right. But there's different strategies, and you have to have different buckets doing different strategies to make sure your plan's going to get you all the way through retirement. Right. We hear that a lot when we talk with you, the income plan and how important that is. And that means, I assume, that you're just really not so tied closely to what is happening in just the market. Correct. Yep. And that's what we talked about with the diversification and just taking a look at, you know, uh, separate assets are, are in our mind, in our plan are meant for, for different things. We've got some of our growth assets as you still need all the way through retirement, but we've got this income bucket that we're not having the market fluctuate what that income is going to be to you on an annual basis. Um, and with that, if we're not taking the income from a loss position that allows that money to grow and last you a lot longer through retirement, especially when you take into consideration taxes and the other things, not just the management of that type of asset. Mm -hmm. And so what does retirement look like when you are, you know, you have that income in place, but you're not so closely having to monitor what is happening with the market? Well, that's a great story we have of the client that kind of illustrates this. Um, this client, you know, they both retired and they actually just took off before COVID, obviously, and they went on a six week vacation. And they use that time to get reacquainted with each other. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't worry about money. They just went on their vacation, traveled the United States, saw some family members. And when they came back, not only were they closer, but they understood that money and what they have set up for them and the budget and things that we want them to see and that they wanted 
is very much on track and in tune with what they want to do throughout retirement. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity as fiduciaries that we put together the plan and the plan's got to be flexible and secondly it's got to meet the client's needs. Mm -hmm. So we look at very much of the dreams, goals and desires of clients and making sure the plan will fulfill that. Right. You know, you often talk about taxes, having a tax strategy, uh, that can also lead to more money in our pockets. Yeah, and especially with the, the current tax structure sunsetting in 2025, mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing we want to take a look at right now. We want to see if we can maximize any of those Roth conversions. If um, you know, So when we get to that RMD age, we're not having to take out so much money. Um, making sure that we have your income bucket structured properly so we're keeping you in the lowest tax bracket possible now and moving forward. So all of those things are strategies that we're going to look at every single year, and it's really important that you do that to make sure that we're not hurting ourselves down the road or even hurting your heirs possibly if, if a part of your goal is to leave this uh, you know lump sum of money behind mm -hmm. for your kids or grandkids uh, we want to make sure that that's structured properly for them as well yeah okay well you have something that you would like to offer our viewers at home yes for the next five callers if they saved at least two hundred fifty thousand dollars or more for retirement we'll like to put together that plan not only just the income plan but we'll analyze where they're at right now with my tax structure and what can they do to maximize income and lower tax all the things that Taylor was talking about, plus yeah. others that are available, we're going to utilize for them. Yeah. Okay, so for you at home, if you want to learn more about putting yourself in a position to retire wealthier, Matson Financial has a great offer right now for the first five callers that are retired or nearing retirement. They're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow them to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap, analyzing where you are right now and discussing your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. A game plan to get you where you need to be. The number to call, 616-514. 3831. Again, that's 616 514 3831. Gary Taylor, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having us. Great yeah. to be here. Yeah. We'll be right back with more 8 West. Don't go away. This is 8 West.